Welcome inside the Quiet Storm, baby. I don't know if you're booed up or not, but I do have two people in front of me that are booed up. They've been booed up for quite some time, actually. Like, we're talking about 30 years and going strong. <laughs> and I'm trying to find out how I could try to get boo. I, forget about the up. Listen, can I get a boo? <laughs> but, look, it's a pleasure to be walking. I've been waiting for this couple. I've been waiting for them to come here. Because I'm holding in contempt of court tonight. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I have to. So, look, they are the hosts for the second season, which jumps off this Sunday of the uh, Peacock Bravo successful show, because it's on a successful run, of Queen's Court. Now, Queen's Court is about, well, I'll let them explain it, but it's a pleasure to have uh, a couple that has been together, booed up (laughs) for 30 years. Like I said, one is a former NFL legendary quarterback. Yep. The other, we're talking about actress, we're talking about talk show hosts, we're talking about author. She does it all. All. And collectively, they make the magic happen. So it's a pleasure to be on, uh, honoring the, uh, the welcome the Pete's, uh, Rodney Pete and his beautiful wife, uh, Miss Holly Robinson Pete. Thank you all for coming tonight. Well, Appreciate that. Wow. Wow. That, that was, was a. That was good. I yeah. like that, that introduction. Intro. I love that. You got to follow us. You got to come with us. That's going to help you can, can, can I get a tape of that real no, quick? No, no, you <laughs> can I record it? Because you'll get it all the time. That was good. You'll get it all the time. But the reason why I'm holding you guys, look. Y'all started in the second season of Queen's Court. First yes. of all, congratulations on thank season you. one. Thank and you. And congratulations for season thank two. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank I you. I want everyone to understand, for the benefit of those who are listening tonight, uh, what is Queen's Court? Well, Queen's yes. Court is a show mm-hmm. about three queens, three women who we, we know, they're celebrity women, okay. who have had their struggles with finding love. And we assembled... 22 guys in a house in Atlanta, in a nice house, (laughs) and we try to boo them up. Uh And really, but seriously, we try to find them, help them find love. Um, it's, It's hard out there. It's hard in life. And the rules have all changed. And social media has thrown a wrench into it. We, Roddy and I are always like, would we? Thank God. Thank God. Would we we be together if we were trying to meet now, I don't know. But so see, that that yeah. that's an interesting twist because how does a social media lane mess up a relationship? Oh, so oh, many ways. Oh, really? if social media was if social media was involved or, or at least available when we were dating in the nineties. Mm. I don't know if we. I don't know if we'd be together. No, I don't think we'd be together. I don't, I don't together. know if we would because, yeah. because let's not forget about MySpace, which came out. Yeah, yeah. MySpace came out early. Yeah, it came out first, but. Instagram, social media, you, you know, Twitter, can, X. You can't do anything without somebody can, with a camera on their phone. So just the fact. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Uh, Let's say, okay, when Rodney and I first started dating. Right. I was, I remember when we met, I was dating somebody. And Rodney was dating everybody. Oh, and um, <laughs> he was Here a little go. monogamously challenged. Here you know, it's all right. We're Here not we go. going nowhere. But we're going to tell the truth here. <laughs> and so at the time... If I was, I was a little bit, you know, reticent to date a quarter, a quarterback, an NFL quarterback, because I felt like, gosh, you know, I don't know if I want to be a groupie and, you know, have to fight off groupies. And I was on Hang With Mr. Cooper at the time and, yeah, and, and I, I was doing all right. The line was pretty long for you too. It Very was, long. but it was Very long. Thank you, Rodney. I, I'm yes. trying to help you out. It was bit. long, don't let but, her fool you. Don't but let I her wasn't, fool you. I wasn't partaking like he was, so... At the end of the day, if I had had access to his location, which you can do on a phone, if I had had access to, if I could see where he was, because see, he was, he had, I almost said you were dating. He had a whole bunch of friends, them diaper buddies that couldn't let go, <laughs> right? And they would go out to the clubs and stuff. And those are the guys that would have like, you know, they today's, would be the ones that would put the location. Guys, they would be having the videos going up. We out here doing our We're thing, baby. City. Come on now. Look at Rodney right here. Rodney's doing his thing. Yeah, they would be those guys. Yeah, and they so I would guys. have driven to the club and it would not have been cute. So my point is, you wow. just we have so much more access now. So it's hard. Yeah. And if you like a picture or if you DM someone, just the DM thing alone. It's so, just a um, camera on the phone. Though. It's everything. It's can, just well. it's just a whole nother whole nother time, and so it's harder now. But on Queens Court, we try to push away all those distractions, and we di- we're dealing with three women who are who have worked on themselves mm-hmm. and who are healing. And the most yeah. important takeaway I think from Queens Court is that you have to heal yourself before you can 
accept love into your life. And all these women have worked on themselves. So we have Holly Robinson Pete and Rodney Pete with us tonight. Uh, a boot up couple that has been together for 30 years. Now, you heard her say, We, we have found <laughs> 22 men. We. So that's yeah. collective, right? That would be you and him, right? Yeah, we, yeah. Okay. we're we yeah. we're very invested in this. So I, I don't mean, say hi yeah. and get my resume on the table. <laughs> yeah. I really don't understand this. But look, I'm going to go into a song. I'm trying to depress. I'm going to talk with them a little bit behind the scenes. And yeah, I'm going to come will. back. And I want to dissect. I'm going to find out how, what kind of scrutiny or what kind of outline or what kind of criteria. Yeah, we go. These men qualified. Like, how did they qualify? And what makes these 22 men possible mm-hmm. candidates for each of these queens? Don't but, even answer that yet. Okay. 107.5 <laughs> WBLS. Yeah, I'm going to hold it right there. We're gonna, yeah. I need a song about love, and who better than Keisha Cole to sing about love, being so we got lovebirds in the house on oh, WBLS, baby. This is Rodney's uh, song. My girl. I'm Lenny Green. Nice to be in your company. Thank you for logging in. If you're driving into Bell Parkway on the Cross Bronx Expressway, we have company over tonight. And this company is well-renowned, one might say. Uh, brother been in the NFL for quite some time. He's retired now. But we're talking about 15, 16 years? 16. Okay. Yeah. And um, played for, he didn't play for my team. No, but I wish, yeah. I wish he did. I wish he did. Uh, we took uh, Rodney Pete with his beautiful wife, Holly Robinson Pete, with us tonight. And um, they are the host, once again, for season two of Queen's Court, which is a, fair to say, reality show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dating show. Dating show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dating show, <laughs> and it, but it's a, it is a process of elimination. Yes, because yes, it's twenty two candidates this mm-hmm. year. Yeah. Twenty two mm-hmm. men vying for three queens, which are the queens this year are Lisa Ray McCoy. Wow, London Delicious or Delicious London? Which one is it? London Delicious, London Delicious Charles, Charles. Charles. Um, yeah. who you may know Delicious from, from Flavor, Flavor of Love, Flavor of Love. Flavor of Love. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how do you remember Flavor Love? Why you said yeah, like, you said yeah no reason, like no that? Reason, no reason, brother. No, I'm just, um, I'm just saying. I thought she was with somebody recently, wasn't she? In a relationship? Yes, yeah, she was married. She oh, was she married. married. She's divorced now. And K. Michelle. K. Michelle. The talented country singer, K. Michelle. Country, yeah. she's moved into country. Yeah, country. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, so there are three amazing women who have had um, very... Fulfilling lives. They have their own money. They have their own careers. They've done a lot, but they have had struggles with love, and they've done that publicly. We've seen a lot of that publicly. Yeah. So for them to come on and look for love, allow us to curate a group of amazing men for them to to, to search for love. It's, it's it was really a great journey. Before I go and pay some bills, um, can you give me at least the top six criteria that the men had to meet? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have in order to, be, to qualify, because obviously they, I didn't meet any of the criteria. They have a, to have a job. Well, you, you know, got that. I have a job. <laughs> yes, I have a job. They have a. They have to have a job. Okay. You know, um, I think the uh, the the background in terms of. <laughs> no criminal records. Yeah, we do do background we, we, checks. We do, yeah, do background but, checks. But it's it's you know good brothers, right? You know guys that want and are looking for love at a certain age. And sometimes we get to a certain age or guys get to a certain age and they're like, what do I, what do I do? I, I'm, I'm tired of just dating X, Y, Z and going out every night and having one night stands. I want some love in my life. You better preach you know my story. I mean? preach and so, so we look for guys that had that criteria or wanted that in their lives. And, and that's what we found with 22 guys. Well. Well, we're going to come back with uh, Holly Ripson, Pete, and, of course, Rodney Pete, and learn more about Queen's Court. And uh, we're going to dissect this thing a little bit more because I need a little, uh, a little bit more understanding on everything. And I want you, <laughs> most importantly, though, this Sunday kicks off season two. Yes. We'll see how this thing jumps off for all three of these queens. And I'm, ass- I'm certain, I'm assuming, because I obviously haven't seen it yet, I'm assuming somebody's going to get eliminated after the first yeah. show. Because that's yes. the process, yeah. right? Yes. Somebody's got to go. Elimination gotta dinners. Go. They're elimination Somebody's dinners. Somebody's got to go. You yeah. got to go. Yeah. You ain't staying here. You are not my king. Oh, it's like that? Yeah. That's oh, our catchphrase. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Look, we'll come back and talk with the Pete's in just a moment. This is 107.5 WBLS. The beautiful wife, Holly Robinson Pete, with us. That is their wedding song. Yes. 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 I think we just got pregnant wedding, again. Oh, gosh. anniversary <laughs> song. If I'm in the doghouse song. It's wow. all that. Wow. It's all of that. And can we just say 
that Jeffrey Osborne sang that song for <laughs> us at our 25th anniversary yes, during wow. COVID in a driveway <laughs> through a sunroof. Yes, with a mask on. With a mask on. <laughs> I love it. And love it. he sounded amazing. He still sings just like yeah, that. Yeah, he still he really got does. that butter voice. He, he really, really does. does. So I need to hear your love story. How yeah. did Joe connect? Well, an actress oh, wow. named, well, two people were responsible for setting us up. Okay. Lila Rashawn, actress. Oh, wow. Yeah. She would get mad at me if I said sunshine, but I'd like to do that to her. <laughs> and Magic Johnson. So really? Magic and Leela both yeah. knew Rodney before I knew Rodney and knew me before Rodney knew me. Mm-hmm. And one day they both kind of came to us and said, we think this could be a little... I was dating a guy at a time that was it was not a good thing. And we met, though. We met at a R&B club in L.A. Who? Yeah. But Leela set yeah. us up yeah. to meet. Okay, we, we met. We yeah. she went there. It was a popular place called R and B Live. Yeah. It was like a traveling oh, yeah, yeah. little L A. Yeah, 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 it was a nice Nightclub. place. Mm-hmm. And we all we both went separately together. Leela told her, "Let's go," and I went with my friend. And we ended up sitting at the same table. Right. And then I ordered some French fries. So yes. I thought he was nice, mm-hmm. but yeah. he usually, if you meet a brother and you think he's really cute and you try to impress him, you you, you eat real dainty. But I was like, he's all right. But I was hungry, right? So I was eating these fries. I was tearing these fries up. She put hot sauce on the fries. She was like, it was hot sauce all on her face. Dripping down my face. He seemed to think that was like a good thing. Yeah, Yeah, because you're real. That's being real. That was it. And then we just. being real. That was our date, basically. And then, like, Lila was like, what do you think about Rodney P? I was like, Oh, you know, I'm just really looking for someone a little more esoteric. I don't want a quarterback. Oh, I want... So I went on an eat, pray, love trip to Bali, Indonesia by myself. Oh, because okay. I was just looking for love like in the all the wrong day. places. The I took day. off like from that night. I took off yeah. the next day. So I went on and that I'm trip. I like the date. It was night. Nice. That night was great. <laughs> he liked Let's it. Let's go. Where Leela? Hey, where'd she go? Where, where's she at? Let's go. Let's go to the next day. She I was came, gone. I came back from Bali. <laughs> Pining over some other, sorry, brother. <laughs> and Leela goes, Holly, Rodney Pete's having a, a, a barbecue at his house. Get your head out your, your two-way pager, waiting for that brother to call. Two-way pager. Put on your Daisy Dukes, wow. and we're going over to Rodney wow. Pete's house. That's, wow. that's how you know it was the yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah. And so come to find out, I'm like, oh, Rodney's only like 10 minutes from me. Okay, interesting. Leela and I walk into the party. There were a lot of women there and like, Maybe 30 guys, 30 women and like five guys. I was like, oh, no. But we went. So what we, was there something guys to eat? Guys were late. They were late. Uh, sure. Yeah, I yeah right. I so I like to eat. So we went to the <laughs> barbecue and there was a brisket on the barbecue. And Lila and I tore that brisket up like some piranhas. No way. So we tore that brisket up. And then we were like, all right, we good. Bye. Thank you. Wow. Went to my house. There was a knock on the door. And there was Rodney standing there with this big old smile and I said, don't you have a party going on at your house? He said, well, when you left, the party was over. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That was good, brother. That was a good one. And, and guess it was. what? And it was. She had to smile on that. It was. That got me a second date. I, I know that's I said, right. all right, I'm, I'm going to give yeah. you a date for that one. Uh-huh. And that was pretty much it. We really have been together ever since. And that was 1993. Yeah. I love it. So, 93, you got married in 95? In 94, he came, he was playing for the Dallas Cowboys. He came to the set of Hanging with Mr. Cooper and he proposed to me in front of a live studio audience. He has set it up with Warner Brothers, the producers, my mom, my dad, everybody. And this brother showed up with a ring in front of everyone. And it was like this magical fairy tale. It was it was pretty amazing. It was it, it was documented and it was great. Yeah, yeah four cameras it were was, rolling. Uh, yeah, it was a, a scene. Well, a show on hanging with Mr. Cooper and a scene when, in which Reggie Miller was going to pick her up for a date. Was dating Vanessa, was my dating character. Dating her character wow. and was knocking at the door to pick her up. So they did the scene, and they said, "Well, let's." And I had friends on the set as well. So we need to do that again. That wasn't quite right. And then the next time, I came through the door. Wow. Yeah. I Fresh from was, Dallas, yeah. Texas. She had no idea. And that's yeah. what each of these queens are hoping for. They're hoping for. And, you know, it's so interesting because for Queen's Court, what we didn't want to do is we didn't want to come in as this preachy couple that knows everything because we've been through some stuff. 
And you have to, to be together for 30 years. You do. We wanted to impart our wisdom, but we didn't want to be this preachy couple, like we know everything. Yeah. So when they came to us to ask us questions, we wanted to just get their trust, you know, and we wanted to be really involved and proactive in helping them find love. And the guys really trusted Rodney. They really trusted him. And they would come to him and say, you know, I really like this one or that one. And what do you think I should do? And how did you no, handle they, it? They had no idea who the queens were. Before they, they, they don't know. Set. They don't That's know. Good. That's good. They don't know. So when they look up and they see Lisa Ray and K. Michelle and London, they're like, "Oh, wait a minute." Yeah, there's a whole they're different. Like, level. You know, all of a sudden they're like, "I'm, I'm Mr. Confident, but wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta deal with these three. It's challenging. It's challenging. And Ronnie, it's challenging. So I had to help them. This. Going, listen, um, I dealt with this. I had someone in the public eye. I had a superstar as 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 a, a, a woman that I was portraying or I was pursuing, and you just got to be yourself. Yeah, you just got to be yourself, and they and and they listen. So it was it was a good it was a good formula. It really was to be able to talk to the guys and, and allow them or talk to them and tell them they need to be vulnerable and then and for, be real. And on Queens women. Court, yeah. on Queens yeah. Court. When they first came to us to ask us to host this, they really did a hard pitch. They said, you guys are the only hosts we're looking for. We really want your wisdom. We really want your insight about love. We want you to be imperfect, but we also want you to be, you know, to share your wisdom with everyone. It's important. Yeah. yeah it really is. Wow. Holly Robinson Peak, Rodney Peak with us. I'm going to hold them for just one more, and then we'll let them go because I know they're on a curfew. Um, but we're gonna Where's the back. champagne? We got to pour some more champagne yeah, 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 now. Yeah. Shout out to Robert Cool Bell yeah. of Cool and the Gang. Thank yes. you, man, for the champagne tonight. It was It's delicious and looks like I'm going to get to the bottom of the bottle uh, tonight. <laughs> if sure. you don't, I will. I know that's right. I know that's right. So, look, let's let's roll some music and uh, we're going to come back. And I need to ask him a question tonight, Brandon. I need to ask because, you know, we do these confessions of love topics every night. Mm-hmm. You know, who better than experienced people who know for 30 years? You know what I'm saying? They know. I, I'm doing something wrong, evidently. <laughs> so I need to know something. Either that or try to get cast for the next season, which is going to be a task in itself. Anyway, let's, let's get into the music. This is The Choir Storm. It's 107.5 WBLS. 107.5 WBLS. Chris Brown. It's a sensational night because I have sensational guests, and I couldn't have asked for better company, even though, you know, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say from beyond that point because, uh, you know, these, these, these folks have done it all. They've done it. And they continue to do great, great work. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome Brother Rodney Pete, his beautiful wife, Holly Robinson Pete. The Peets. You remember their reality show? Meet the Peets. <laughs> Meet the Peets. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that was a good show. But now, We have a whole other reality show going on here in, on these breaks. Yes, we do. We do, we do. Yes, but they, we they do. can't be aired. They can't be aired. <laughs> they can't be but aired. they could imagine. They, they could imagine. only imagine. <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes is real. Yeah. <laughs> real talk. Look, they are the host of season two. They were the host of season one. They're the host of season two of Queen's Court. Queen's Court is a uh, dating show, as I've learned. And they will be hopefully helping these three queens, which are Lisa Ray McCoy and... K. Michelle. Uh, K. Michelle. K. Michelle and London Delicious Charles. Right. <laughs> right. Get all the names in. Yeah, no, get them all in. Get them all in. Um, how do you think, are these ladies ready? I mean, yeah, they said they're ready, but now that they've met, and I don't know what's going to happen Sunday night, but now that they've met the men, because I don't know how, maybe you can help me understand this, Rodney. When woman meets man, I don't know how she sizes man up yeah. before even conversation comes out. How does that happen to Roger? Well, I... Or should I go to the missus? Well, you can go to the missus, too. But I, I think that there are certain criterias that I think a woman wants or looks for in a man, right? And so when those are talked about, um, then it's the job of the show to figure out, okay, let's put these men together. Let's let's cultivate and let's bring 22 guys in to see if they can match up with what these women want. Mm. And that's what we try to do, is try to connect these women with these men that possibly could be a match for them. So all, all I would add was the first question that we asked the queens was, are you really ready for love? Are yeah. you just on here to right. promote something? Right. No, we, were re- we kept it real. Are y'all yeah. really ready? Or you just got an album to promote? Right. 
And I think the answer really was that they were ready, that they had really healed themselves, and they were at a place where they were trying to give this a shot. And so there were moments where I felt like some of the queens were being a teeny bit disingenuous. Like one of them was bringing up, you know, her ex a lot. And I had to say to her, if I'm this guy sitting across from you, I don't want to hear about your ex. <laughs> Not at all. So that I think was the what the part about the Queen's Court that I love that Rodney and I brought. We we kept it very, very real. Yeah. And we, we just were really honest, like we want to help you here. So let's cut through the riffraff and I'm going to tell you how I really feel. And Rodney's going to tell you how he really feels. Yeah. So I think that's what kind of sets us apart from some other dating shows that are hosted by couples is that we get very involved and very invested. And, and for the guys, it was like, you don't have to put on a front. I know it's Lisa Ray McCoy right. and, you know, it's, it's, it's Kay Michelle and it's, and it's London and all, you know, you may have seen them you know, out in the public eye and seeing them on TV and all that. But just be real. They're looking for somebody real, right? To that's be important. yourself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you be yourself, then that's going to be good enough. And mm -hmm. if it's not, it's not. But but don't try to be something that you're not just to try to impress them. Yeah. So it's 10 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. And the first one jumps off on Sunday. Sunday. This Sunday. On Peacock. On Peacock, on and Peacock. you can they you drop can, them all. You can drop them. You can binge them all. Oh, oh, okay. You can binge yeah. them all, and then it goes weekly they will go on Bravo, and every Sunday after Real right. Housewives of the po Potomac. Yeah, the Potomac. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the champagne that's got me. It's your no, fault. Yeah, it's after Robert Kubel's fault. Oh, yeah, blame after, Robert Kubel. After, after the Real Housewives of the Potomac, it'll yeah. be on it's every Sunday cool's night. It's fault. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and yeah. so that's cool because we we really wanted a chance to reach a different audience and to be to be able to have the Bravo audience and the Peacock audience yeah, is a real gift. No yeah. doubt. Well, look, needless to say, I thank you so much. Look, I have a topic coming up tonight. We don't, we're not trying to go nowhere. No, no. <laughs> we got another hour. No, no, no. no, no. I, I want to let you guys. Yeah, I know. to get on the show. No, now. no. We got to figure out how we can get on it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're going to be my coach. Yeah, I got you. You I stop playing, you. so I need I you to be you. my coach. I got you. You know how many times, Ken, I've heard somebody say, I got you? And they never had me. So we're going to find out if you got me. <laughs> yeah, but I got you. And okay. I documented. always, I always <laughs> deliver. Is that the champagne take. talking, though? A little bit. See what I'm saying? See, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how I can get on this program. Ooh, I'm a single man. It's too hot. <laughs> I'm a single man. Look, I'm asking a question tonight, and I want to get your take on it. And I know you found, you know, obviously love among yourself, but how would, if someone came to you and asked, should a person give an opportunity for the love of their life? If the love of their life wanted to have children, but that person did not want to have children, mm. would you walk away from your, the love of your life? Like this mm. person supersedes everyone. Oh, you don't know what, you don't know mm. the tone you are striking right now. You're hitting a mm. chord. Because we just had to deal with something like this. We had some friends give us this, this sort of ultimatum. But at the end of the day, man, if you can, if you find that true love and it's really right and you have this block about I don't want kids, I don't want kids, I, I think you have to reconsider because true love only comes around sometimes once in a lifetime. But he can't force it. That's the thing. He can't force it. If he doesn't have any children, he can't. She's got to be willing to does meet him. What does he want? He, children? If he doesn't have any children, because oh, it's wow. one thing if yeah. you have children, right? It is, but it's another thing if you don't. Yeah, it's so. But true. is the love of his life? Is it something that evolved, or is it something that love at first sight? No, I think it evolved. I think you yeah. don't. You don't. You don't. So no, it, it's a if, dilemma in the if relationship. It, if it evolved then you got to have those conversations early on in the relationship true. before you find that that real true love. Yeah. You got to figure out what each other, you know, you guys want. And that and is one thing. If it's kids or is it family, if it's that, then you can continue. If it's something that one of them is adamant about, I don't want any more kids. And and one says, I I want kids. Or I want a child. Or I want a child. Just a child. And you got to you got to deal with that in that moment before it gets to the point where I got my true love, and now she doesn't. You want know, to do sometimes it. though, Rodney, we don't ask questions once we kind yeah. of the ball gets going, and right. that's and that's yeah. where Lenny but Green you got comes to. In. Yeah. yeah, but that's, that's why, why we these. went to therapy before we got married. I will say that was a really big thing. Yeah. We sat down with a third party. Uh huh. And Give me some kids, girl. <laughs> 
Give me four of them. He said four. <laughs> and you got your wish. I got my wish. I got my wish. I got to let them go. Uh, Riley P. Holly Robinson P. Thank you. This has been Thank amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate it. They say save the best for last. Can I just say quiet storm? I just want to say that. You just did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Thank cool. you so much. Yes, no doubt. Um, look, Queen's Court, once yes. again, this Sunday. You won't see me as one of the 22. Now, <laughs> but maybe we, next we year. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. I got witnesses yeah. in this we're gonna room. Work on that. Okay, I got, we're going to work on that. I guess you got to work on me yeah. first, brother coach. Hey. Coach Rodney. We got, got a year. Got we have a year, year to make this happen. <laughs> to get me together. You got Peacock is in the house, too. <laughs> <laughs> Peacock is in the house. So okay, you, know, I got, you got, you. got witnesses. Okay, I got witnesses. No question. Yeah. I wish you both blessings and continued success. Thank, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for playing our love ballad that just gets yeah. us going. Rodney, Rodney's very happy you played love ballad oh, yeah. tonight. It's hey, be look, a you good know night what? tonight, baby. When you come to the choir storm yeah. with Lenny Green, uh-huh. I want you to leave with an experience. Hey, Lenny thank Green, you. let me tell you something. It's going to be a good night tonight, Lenny Green. <laughs> That's my job. Thank you, Lord, for making it happen. 107.5 WBLS. Thanks for coming, guys.